What's going on, people? This is Jagos, and just going to be doing some housekeeping and as well as trying to sit here and sort through everything that's been going on in the gaming world. I know it's been a while, but uh, bear with me. I've been very busy on like multiple projects as well as just absolutely just swamped with all sorts of things. Nothing that you all really have to sit here and deal with, but I guess the channel has been suffering a little bit, so I'm going to be putting some new stuff on there. Now, a while back, sometime in May of this year, I actually sat here and began working on the Capcom 2014 as well as the 2015 project. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm probably not going to be doing as many annual reports and I'm just going to sit here and have people look at the 2013 report because the return on the time and the investment is kind of meh. And the main thing that I want people to sit here and start doing is to start learning how should you look into these things. You should look into it, focus on the top, you should be able to focus on why the publisher does the things they do and the decisions that affect everybody. Um, in regards to how the company works the most for the most part that was a teaching exercise it's not really something that I want to go into into Nintendo into each one individually I kinda want to focus on a lot of general things that have been going unsaid unheard and unspoken until I sit here and find a lot of evidence that points me to a certain conclusion so I won't be doing annual reports for any of the companies. I probably just focus. Hey, if you want to sit here and see that stuff, I want to see what you all have to say about, say, Atlas. How, what do you want to say about Tekken what, or Namco Bandai? What do you want to say about Microsoft and all these other groups? Instead of me putting all this stuff out there to say, you know, it's just my opinion, you know, you all have voices too. So take that as a teaching moment. Take that as a teaching experience. That's something that you all want to look into. Go right ahead and do it. If you all want to sit here and ask questions about it, feel free. I'm not really going to sit here and stop you all from, you know, taking the information and learning from it because relying on someone else to sit here and constantly give you information, what if that person starts to lie to you? I don't like to sit here and try to lie to you all. That's why I sit here and quote a lot of that stuff. And for the most part, when you get into the Capcom reports and you start looking into the same things that I'm looking at, you're going to come to very, very similar conclusions. And I think that's probably for the better. A lot of information is within those so you can see a lot of the different companies that are going to be where they're aiming for what they're looking to do and that's why you need to look into the annual reports don't sit here and rely on other people to read them and constantly tell you information because that's pretty much what happened when you got into any type of journalism because you can't necessarily trust each one of those people to sit here and tell you the truth when they've lied about so many things in the past. If someone isn't going to be honest and upfront and show you why they have reasons the way that they do, you shouldn't be going to them in the first place. So other than that, I won't be doing annual reports. You all can enjoy what's there. I'm probably going to be moving into other different things within the gaming industry. I have a few reports that I'm currently been working on. I just not had the time to really do them and that's pretty much it for this video so I'll see you all next time